Kiss 105.3 and 1340, where hip-hop and R&B lives a day party with your favorite DJ, DJ Diesel. Y'all, let's discuss some hip-hop news now. It is time for... Diesel, what the hell happened today? And a lot of stuff happened today. Y'all, we're going to start off and talk about Big Sean. He was trending yesterday, and he shouldn't have been trending, y'all. They were talking about the 2010s Mount Rushmore of hip-hop. You know, the, the, these lists always come back around. You already know how it is, y'all. But it was trending. They said that Big Sean does not get his respect, that he should be there with J. Cole, Drake, and Kendrick. Well, y'all, this is my problem with that. Drake, Kendrick, Future Hendrix, and probably Tyler, the creator, y'all. I'm just telling you straight up. I'm just telling you that was who was dominating the 2010s. When you look back at it, I know we want to put J. Cole in there, but at the end, Tyler the Creative was way more creative than J. Cole, as much as I like J. Cole, and we already know what Future did. But damn, Big Sean ain't on that level, y'all. Straight up and down. <laughs> y'all, in other news, Tank was on Drink Champs recently, and uh, he was talking about Destiny Child, and he was saying that Destiny Child was set up for Beyonce to win. He said that he did not know that Kelly Rowland was even that talented until he worked with her. And he said Kelly Rowland is one of the most talented artists that he's ever worked with. So one time for Tank for sharing that. And it is wild, y'all. We all knew that Destiny Child was set up for Beyonce, but Tank said it really was. He said that's what he knew. He just thought Beyonce did everything. And he just thought Kelly was part of the group, y'all, straight up. In other news, New music from Eminem, I think. He's dropping the Eminem Show Extended Edition for the 20th anniversary. And y'all, that album has some bangers on there. Without Me, Superman, Clean Out My Closet, Sing For The Moment, and more. Now, he didn't elaborate what the Extended Edition actually means, but y'all, I think it means he's going to drop a new song or two on that project. That's what I think it means, y'all. In other news... Brandy, she responds again to Jack Harlow. If y'all remember, Jack Harlow denoted her and Ray J were brother and sister. Brandy tweeted out that she would murder him on his own beat. Well, Brandy kept her words, y'all. Let's check it out. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is world famous, one of the greatest. Living legend, did I mention my resume is amazing. The game need a breath of fresh air and I'm breathtaking. Painted pictures, Cinderella scriptures, but that don't mean jack in the streets. Jack of all trades, now I'm here jack of the beats. Queens cancel, but you can never cancel a queen. Crown concrete stone. Brady was spitting. I'm just going to be 100 with y'all. I got to give Brady credit. Brady was spitting some bars. Brady, a.k.a. Moesha, was doing her thing. Y'all, in other news, Doja Cat said that she will be dropping a rap album next. She said she don't care if y'all don't think she can rap or not. That's what she coming out with. And uh, it's supposed to be produced by Ninth Wonder and Jay Versace. So uh, we'll see. And last but not least, y'all, Moneybag Yo is heating up. He's getting ready to drop a new single this Friday. And uh, he's already released a song with Kodak Black last week. It's called Rocky Road. And he'll be featured on Trippy Red's new single called Big 14. Y'all, that's what the hell happened today. I'll be back tomorrow, 2 p.m. sharp. We're going to kiss 105.3, 13.4.